Welcome back, my horde, to a New Year Eve podcast. Actually, this will be coming out New Year's Day, but we're recording at New Year's Eve. Ooh! <laughs> Early New Year's Eve, too. Uh, it's like 8.45 here in the morning, which is early for me. Like, seeing how I don't get up until noon. But I went to bed early last night because I didn't sleep all yesterday. And, uh, yeah. Uh, first thing I will go over is, um, the next Marvel, or sorry, Disney Plus show should actually be Moon Knight. That'd be exciting. It's either going to be that or She-Hulk. Because apparently both of them are post-production. So I may actually go Moon Knight, then She-Hulk. And then, what was the other one I said? <clears throat> yeah, you can't remember either right now. Uh, but yeah, there's another one right afterwards that's like being filmed right now. So we'll see how that goes. It'll be interesting to see Moon Knight. Yeah, he's Egyptian, isn't he? Yes. I don't know if they're going to start it off in Egypt, but... They should. Explain how he got his powers and stuff, because his powers are actually from a Egyptian god. If I'm not wrong. Hmm. So it'll be interesting to see that. And I have no, I don't know much about him. I only know a little bit. That's pretty much the amount I know of him. So, yeah. Uh, yeah, go ahead. I was gonna say, me in the morning, brain no worky much. <laughs> yeah, Tammy's got to go work in uh, about thirty minutes or so. So basically, she's going to be trying to do all her morning stuff while we are doing this but it's okay because Tammy does a lot of morning stuff on her phone first and then eats because she doesn't eat a lot she just eats enough to not be hungry at work because what basically in short Tammy does is when she goes to work after a couple hours of going to work, I guess probably an hour of being at work. She gets hungry. But if she has breakfast in the morning, even if it's something slightly small, then it's longer before she actually gets hungry. Obviously. So it's less of a problem because then she can just quickly go have like a snack if she wanted to. Like a granola bar and just hold herself over till lunch. Yeah, and that's usually what I end up... Uh having to do because and that's why I have lots of snacks yeah and usually once I get a new box of granola bars I take about three or four and put them in my little snack bin so yeah it's just doing that helps her get through the day so she doesn't have to eat too much here so she, right now it's just her playing with her um, phone games in the morning so this is not a huge, like, oh my god, what are you doing to your wife? Kind of thing. My wife looks agreed to this. I, I also am planning on, which you guys won't know. Because it'll already be done. But I'm planning on doing a 12-hour stream today. I'm planning on um, starting at, like, either noon or 1. And um, stream until midnight or one. I'm not quite sure when we'll be going till tonight. But Tammy's already agreed to it. And I'm hoping that we can get either a lot of games done or we can find a particular game that we like to play and play that for a bit longer. Yeah. There's a bunch of games that we can play times, especially you and me. Um, I was looking at it and I saw like three games that we could definitely play that I was like holding off on because of the concept that, you know, I wanted to record it in some form, fashion, or way. Hello, Nico. You're being a brat. 
I was looking at like It Takes Two, for example. Yeah. I know there was another game. I can't remember which one it is right now. Nico. I literally had this discussion with you right before we recorded. That if you wanted to hang out, we could hang out. You could sit on my lap. And we could just hang out. But if you jump down and then start meowing, it kind of defeats the purpose of what you want in life. She wants to hang out with me. She wants to be in my office, to be fair. She's just mad that we're in the kitchen again. To be fair, my cat really gets confused when we're in the kitchen and... Or anywhere. Anywhere, honestly, for long periods of time. If I'm anywhere for long periods of time except for the office and the bedroom. Yeah. So... But I don't care. Um, yeah, I can't think of anything else immediate that we had to talk about. I know that uh, Tammy bought herself some wagon wheels. Wagon wheels. She really wanted to get herself some of those. I'm not a big fan of it. I don't like the um, cookie part. Which is like 75% of the, like she's probably about 60% of the freaking cookie. Yeah. And then we also got her special wagon wheels that have raspberry goo in them. Yeah. So, Tammy's favorite fruit is a raspberry. That's true. That's very yeah. true. Tammy was covering for me. I was yawning. That's why she repeated herself. <laughs> but yeah uh, and then she also got try, went to go try out these ahas carbonated sparkling water Tammy flavors. Tammy occasionally will drink um, uh, bubblies and um, she uh, and our roommate drink them a lot so I was like, oh, okay, well, this is pretty similar. Do you want to try one of these? And she's like, yeah, sure, it's the same price. So she grabbed one. It's, uh, you already said it was blueberry pomegranate? No. Okay, well, it's blueberry pomegranate. It's the only one out of the four of them that she actually liked. Yeah, I am don't I don't like peaches, so peaches and honey were out. I don't like watermelon, so the watermelon and lime were out. And I can't remember what the other one was, but... Yeah, it had one of the flavors that you weren't too fond of. Which I can't remember which one it was. I don't remember either. Me and her both have that same problem. We just cannot remember what this Obviously, it wasn't important. <laughs> I wonder if the, the other one was fine then. You just... I don't remember. I know when we picked it up, I was on the hunt for pomegranate juice, which I did not get. Yeah. We could have just grabbed one from Walmart. It's just we didn't know the price of it. So, because we didn't know the price of it, Tammy's like, I don't really want to grab it because I don't know if it's too expensive. And then we, because we were there we're at Walmart, or not Walmart, Costco. Yeah. We were at Costco way too freaking early. Or late. Yeah, way too close to their, their closing, that's what I meant to say. Yeah, they were putting stuff away. And the pomegranate juice was on a flat that they were putting away. And I'm like, no. Yeah. Oh, man. I have to cut my nails. For some reason, my middle finger nails are both ridiculously long compared to all the other nails on my fingers. Hmm. So I'm going to have to. Oh, wow. I don't know. I trimmed all mine down. Yeah. I'm gonna have to just do that. Anyway. Uh when do you have to start King Running? Uh in about twenty mm. ish minutes. Okay. That's when I should be getting my jacket on. <clears throat> so yeah, um I guess I kinda will just wrap up the year with this. Um Today, I'm still, I think it's like 1,400. 
away from getting my goal. So, I'm going to be trying to do, like, a couple games today while I'm hanging out by myself to get closer to the goal. And then when I start streaming, <clears throat> I will start playing that. The reason I'm doing that, if you're wondering, I'm like, why don't you just stream the game? Well, because some of them I have to actually watch walkthroughs for. And due to the fact that I have to walk through, it's not going to be as easy. And, yeah. So I'm going to probably try doing that today. I know that I do need a walkthrough for one of them. But Tammy can probably help me with it tonight when we're streaming. And we can just run through the game. But we'll see how that turns out as well. Maybe I'll do some of it beforehand. So that Tammy only has to run me through the game once and not three times. <clears throat> and then, yeah. A couple other random little things here and there that I need to work on. Game-wise. But, uh, yeah, no, I should be able to get the gamer score either by today or tomorrow. That would be a problem. If I get it done by tomorrow, that's just going to suck because I really want to get it done today. But it's not going to be a um, real problem. I'm hoping with some of the games that we were talking about playing, we can definitely get you some extra points. We might not 100% the game, but... yeah. Yeah, no, I have no problem. Like, there's some of the games that we're talking about in general, just overall. Like, some of the games I was thinking about playing today, I was thinking about playing uh, <clears throat> a game that I know I can 100%. I just don't know if I can 100% it within a couple hours, which is uh, Far Cry Blood Dragon. Okay. And then I know that there was another game. Oh, what was the other game that I was thinking about playing? Uh, it was another game that I really wanted to be playing, but it just... I can't play... I didn't want to play it without recording it, just because it was a game that I really enjoyed playing. And I thought people would enjoy watching it. <clears throat> so, I'll have to look into it, what it was again. But I know that was another one where I can pretty much get most of the achievements in it. We're going to the office in a bit. Simmer down. And then I know that there was another one that um, was going to take me many hours to complete, but actually it's an easy 100%, which is uh, The Walking Dead, Telltale, The Walking Dead. Ah, uh, yes. The complete series. Yeah, because each, uh, each episode of theirs is like an hour, isn't it? An hour or two, yep. <clears throat> So, you know, there's that. But it's a complete series, and it's like a thousand score for just the one, like, for the entire thing. So it's a, not a lot of points for the amount of hours I have to sink into it. But it would be an easy completion. Because all I have to do is theoretically play the game. So yeah, we'll see how that returns out as well. Because, yeah, lots of games we can play. Definitely lots of games we can play. And we'll see if other people want to join us later on tonight. See how that turns out. My roommate was stating that he may be going out to uh, a New Year's party. Which, <clears throat> yeah, I'm not a fan of parties in general. Mostly just because of the fact that... Uh, you know, I don't drink. I could never really drank before. And, yeah, it's just kind of one of those weird things where it's like, if you don't drink and go to a party, you really just are standing there going, hmm, this is boring. And then my brain, even think about drinking and going to a party, just goes, huh, why? I could do, like, so many other things like, instead of drinking and, and including the fact of, like, all I'm doing is just chatting with people. I could do that, like, other ways and stuff like that. I don't know. I guess I'm just one of those people that 
Like, I, it's fine if you drink. Don't get me wrong here. I'm not saying people can't drink, you know, do stuff like that. It's just my brain has always thought about <clears throat> with me. I could always do something else, like play video games. So for, for me, it's like <clears throat> thinks about it. Thinks about how many people are going to be there. Oh, more than blank amount. Sounds exhausting. Yeah. I know that happened one year <clears throat> at Tammy's parents. They were all having a summer party. And Tammy's like, we went out there, hanged out with everyone. And then um, near a campfire while everyone was drinking. And after a bit, I looked at Tammy. I'm like, I can see that look in her face. I'm like, do you want to go back inside? She's like, yeah. Because for like an hour, we didn't talk. Like, even to each other. For an hour, we didn't talk. We just sat there while people drunkenly told stories. That made no sense and they all laughed at. So. Yeah. Just overall exhausting peopling. So we just, like, went to the basement of her parents' house and just hanged out there and watched movies. So, yeah, that's kind of... A, we're, we're all people already. Also, <laughs> I forgot to bring this up to my roommate, which I'll bring up to him when he wakes up. I take blood pressure medication now because I'm old. Actually, it's because I have a high blood pressure of head since I was young, but still, point being... Apparently, alcohol can affect it and make it worse. Now, I know one night's not going to hurt me, but the point so being is the fact that, uh, you know, why even get on that bandwagon? I could be healthy-ish. <laughs> so, yeah. Uh, I know that Tammy's package for her Tokyo treat still hasn't come in. She's hoping that comes in today or she's going to have to yell at them on Tuesday. Sometime next week I'll yell at them. Yeah, it's yelling them on Tuesday or Wednesday. Just give me my package. <laughs> yeah. She wants to try out her new treats. Yeah, these are, this is the box of, the first box of their new set, new style, which includes ramen, and it has, I think, an energy drink in it. And it's going to have, they have new types of treats in it, like baked treats and whatnot, so I wants them. I wants to try them. Yeah. It would be nice. Try new things. <clears throat> okay, I don't think there's much else we're going to be saying here. I'm actually trying to think of more stuff to say. I'm really running out of things to actually talk about. I'm really hoping that <clears throat> as the future continues, that we'll actually be able to um, do podcasts with people again. I know that um, with the schedule change of our one friend, it's a lot hard to start doing stuff with him. And uh, so Chris, basically, that's what I'm talking about. Chris's schedule keeps changing, so it's really hard to start doing stuff with Chris when his schedule changes as much as it does. It's not his fault, just stating facts. And it's even harder to do stuff with him and Jay together because now they're on polar opposites of their schedule change. Like, Jay has Monday, Tuesdays off, and Chris has fucking Fridays and Saturdays off. So, and Chris may change his schedule again without... It's not him doing it, but his schedule may change again. We will see. It's the concept that I think they're a shorter person. So everyone else is like shifted around a little bit to uh, accommodate, you know, uh, there are other jobs and other things that they're doing and stuff like that. 
Jeez, we're almost done. Just simmer down. <laughs> then there's me. Same days. Yeah, but you do change. Same panda time, same panda time. The, the only difference is because you work mornings. When it gets to a certain point, you are always off at that certain point. Like, you know, round six, you're always off. So you'll be here by seven, mostly. <clears throat> so because of that, it's easier to do stuff with you. Because, you know, we could just say, okay, 7 p.m., meet up, and you're here. Yeah, because it doesn't matter what I'm doing. I have to, I have to be out of there by a certain time. Yeah. So. Or, like, for them, the morning is like, okay, well, they're off in the morning. But then, like, you know, Chris and Jay both have different schedules for that, too. Jay stays up a few hours because he's one of those people who gets up and goes to work. Or Chris is one of those guys who uh, goes to bed after work. So that he can do stuff with his family before going to work. Like having dinner with him and stuff. Usually he does take a nap in the afternoon. But still. <clears throat> the point still being is the fact that he is one of those kind of people. So... Even right there, if they had a day off but were still keeping their original schedule, Chris wouldn't be on until about 10, but Jay would be on around 7. If you're just sticking to your regular schedule but you had the day off for whatever reason. Yeah. I'm glad I don't do that. <laughs> well, I guess Jay's more <laughs> of like a 8, but still, the point being... <clears throat> it's a lot harder to do certain things like that too like Jay has done it where he has slept in and missed uh, gaming with us and like Chris has been up like before again using these examples like just the differences Chris has been up at like freaking um, 2 in the afternoon Ready to go. On his days off. And I'm like, Tammy's not even home yet. He's like, right. I'm like. <clears throat> Silly peoples. That's well, I think thing. he thought you had the day off that day. Because, mm. you know, I think it was a. Oh, the one time that we were talking, I think it was like a stat. And he's like, oh. I mean, Tammy's not off work until like, you know, he's like, oh, I thought she was off today. Because it was, I'm like, it's not a stat. It's. What was those? It's a uh, banking it's, set. It was it's not, an observed holiday. Yeah, there was like stuff like that too. Yeah, a lot of BS. So yeah, yeah. I think that's about it, though. I I, I know that we're dragging this out, trying to push this a little bit longer, but <clears throat> there's not really too much else to say. Um. I'm hoping for the new year that we can start getting stuff back to into swing. But it's just, it's hard to do certain things due to the fact that I would like to do stuff with the friends. And then there's always like days that when we go to do it where I have to figure out when to actually do it. And then I know that um, I'm losing a lot of follow or subscribers on uh, YouTube because like, I guess I'm not producing at RimWorld. That's because that seems to be what they've watched. They were just watching RimWorld and then they unsubscribe. <clears throat> but I'm hoping to start doing all that stuff in, again, as time progresses. It's just trying to figure out time for it all it is so difficult when you're waiting for people to, you know, get online or you're trying to do other streaming stuff or whatnot. Like... You know, I get up at noon, start streaming at about 1, one thirty, stream until about 4, 4.30, actually usually about 4.35, and then I make dinner for Tammy, we eat, and then we stream again at like 7, and then with all that dead afterwards, 
I could and should do stuff like uh, editing or recording again before going to bed. But sometimes I'm just like burnt out because like I've just been streaming for, you know, seven, eight hours. So that's where one of my thought processes of trying to make it so that we actually have it um, be that the stuff that I'm streaming is the content for YouTube as well. But we'll see because I may also put in dates that do actually work. Like doing extra stuff at the end for some stuff. We'll see. This is also really hard for... Um, can be a part of those things and stuff like that. So... And like the one, going back to the one editing, it's like when we're using stream, like uh, when we're streaming, it's easier to record it all and put it all out there for audio purposes than it is to do it the other way. But the other way is just, I don't know. Uh, there's so many fucking problems with it. I am, I'm just hoping that I can actually get it to at least work enough that People actually enjoy it. And it's one of the things. Like I'm trying to make this work. Because I actually do like the idea of streaming. And recording. And editing. I don't really like editing sometimes. To be fair. I used to like editing. But just as we progress. Editing gets so freaking tedious. Well I think a lot of it was also. When you were trying to do. Um, your October. Intro Not outro really. thing. I'm like. That's really complicated. <laughs> it wasn't that bad. It but. was just, it took so freaking long for the video to convert. And I don't know why. Like it took, like it takes longer now for my videos to convert. I think my editing software is like messed, sub, messed up or has updated something. But it's just, it takes so freaking long for some of my videos to actually convert. That the more editing I do, the longer it takes. I'm just like, I don't want to do all the editing and then doing all the uploading because I'm worried that I mess something else up when I'm trying to do it real fast. And I <clears throat> put something wrong in the wrong spot and blah, blah, blah. So I'm just like, I don't know. Yes, Nico. I'm. We're done. Fine. We're done. So ho hopefully you guys all enjoy uh, this year. I was going to go over more gaming stuff, but yeah. Hopefully at some point um, in the near future, I'm actually going to release a video. On YouTube that's like all oh, the games I've ever beaten da, da, da. I was trying to make that last year but um, it messed up on me it, like because it was gonna be just pictures of each game hmm. and then it started putting the pictures in the wrong spots it started doing that and I don't know what was happening or why I was doing it and I just got frustrated and walked away so I think I'm just going to go alphabetically and not write down what year I beat them in. Yeah, probably safer that way. Uh, that way, at least, then it's just like a bunch of showing you all the games I've ever beaten. Yeah. But, yeah. And then maybe me and Tammy will do a uh, voiceover of us talking about the game. But, until then. Hopefully you guys enjoyed and I will see you guys next year. Choke strokes. Actually, I'll see you guys next year. You guys are going to be hearing me next year. <gasps> I got nothing. Sorry, guys. <laughs>